All right, we're here with Will Tennyson, who has a massive YouTube following. He lives in Greater Toronto area as well. He figured he wanted to try a day as the world's strongest man. What's up guys, Will Tennyson, Gymshark athlete. Uh, I do YouTube, I like to travel around meeting some amazing athletes, trying their routines, sucking at it, but still having fun at it. I do a lot of cooking and my own workouts on my channel. And yeah, having a good time with this guy, absolute beast. And you're gonna kill me today. We'll get there. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna grab some breakfast, we're gonna go off and have a bit of a strongman training session together. And let's see how a fitness influencer does strongman. I can eat, I don't know about the training though. Yeah, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> So sunset super with bacon and sausage. And can we have two extra pancakes on that as well? Yeah, of course. I'd like your Oh, could we do them poached? Yeah, soft and medium hard. Medium. And then it comes uh, with hot rice too, that's okay. That's perfect. perfect. Same as him. We're trying to get it? strong. Yeah. yeah. So that seemed like quite a bit of food. But that still seems like that's like the palate cleanser for like the actual meal. Like, cause I feel like strong man to see like, <laughs> like 20K, right? Yeah, no. It's no? Close. No, I, I, I'm on about 5,500. Okay. And that's sort of, I like to destigmatize. We don't need 10,000 calories unless you're trying to be 420 pounds. How I put it is like, we would all have mates who are 320 pounds by accident. Yeah. And so really like the, the most common thing that people say to me is that you don't eat as much as I would expect you to. And that's cause like, I have a job, I have, I have training, I have to go to work. I, I don't want to eat when I'm full. Um, and to be the strongest man in the world, you just, you don't have to. Right. And so it's it's normal food. It's probably the biggest meal that anyone would order at the table, but not two or three meals. They don't discuss it. No, not disgusting yeah. because from here we're going off to train straight away. So like I'll be fine. You'll be in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna be fine after this. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Um, but then a lot of what I eat is shakes and like stuff that's really easy to get down, so that I can do other things with my life. I think traditionally, if you think of how strong men have have eaten their ability to do anything else is diminished because they spend all day cooking 12 eggs and That's eating true. 10 pancakes. And yeah. uh, and personally, like, I'm just not ready to give up my entire life for strongman and I'm still the best in the world. And so I think I'm proving, it's not because I'm so special, I'm just proving that it doesn't have to be that way. Right, yeah, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And also fun fact guys, we went to the same university, yes. University of oh. Guelph. Yeah. yeah, so technically like we're higher education Eskimo bros. That's true. Yeah, that's very true. Those are some thick daddies, man. They are, they're beautiful. Awesome. See, I can't... Yeah, yeah, definitely. Have you heard of Walden Farms? I have, but what a waste of time that is. This that's... is a waste of calories. There's no such thing. <laughs> Just want me to sandwich it. You can, like... You know, sandwich like, all in one. Roll a hot dog in. Oh. Hot dog, roll a sausage in there. That's not a bad idea, but how do you manage the syrup in your fingers? Lick them. <laughs> That's actually beautiful. And if you get a piece of bacon in there. Oh my god. And then if you get. I think strong is my sport. It's really convenient, isn't mm. it? <laughs> it's a good life. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Oh, you attack that. That's not a bad show. I know. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Oh my god, dude. How do you feel? The second I stood up. Is the baby? Yeah, you can feel it. Yeah. It's kicking a bit, the pancakes. You feel fine? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know, this guy's- I'm ready to go. How many mints do you have, like 10 mints? Three in my mouth at the moment, but more. Yeah. See, I think that's that's the habitual stuff. Yeah. Where like, if you're just relentlessly sort of eating something, they're always grazing. Yeah, I can't. Oh. Here it is. Oh. So sick. You can pick it, pick it up, but you can't hold the bed. You can't hold the top. <clears throat> You know what, to be honest, I thought it'd be heavier if I have like Thor's hammer. Only like the it's like, can lift it. Yeah, it's empty. It's actually quite disappointing. Can I try? Looking over my head? Yeah, yeah, go for it. What's the weirdest thing you've done with it? Nothing really. Really? No. I usually sleep with all my trophies, but I, I have sleep to stop. I have to stop we have a great we have <laughs> yeah. a great video like me the next day. I put it in the fridge. Yeah. I, I had fridge. it in bed. Um, so we're off to the gym. We've got, we're gonna do yoke first. Okay. Then we'll do overhead press stuff. We'll go barbell overhead press first. Then we're gonna go log and that's it. We're gonna have weight on your stomach. So hopefully, yeah. <laughs> hopefully we've timed it well. Okay. It's not coming out the top or the bottom. And then we're gonna finish up with uh, Atlas Toes. I got some what? little ones in there for you. Hey, <laughs> asshole man. 
I think he's gonna do. I don't know. To be honest, I don't, I don't know. I, I know that he's strong. He's stronger than average. Uh, but technically, he'll know nothing. So you'll get a good, like, raw glimpse of what a strong person looks like when they have no technique. So, yeah, simply put, we just got to pick it up and carry it from A to B. Sounds simple enough. Yeah, strongman is rules wise, it's very limited. All you can't do is just slide it along the ground. Okay, perfect. Cool. So this yoke empty is 225. We're gonna work our way up. I'm gonna go to a thousand. We're gonna get you to at least 700. Yeah, 700. I don't know. It's hard to like think about putting my like putting your feet in kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. while you're doing it. Yeah, but you, you'll notice when you're here, it's really hard to propel forward if you're pigeon toe. Yeah. Or sorry, if you're duck walk. Yeah? Yeah. You'll feel it. Today you're gonna suck at everything. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> it's just gonna be how it goes. Guess how long it takes the nervous system to fully recover? Three minutes? 20 to 25. Really? Yeah. When you go like heavy, heavy? Oh. Atta boy. There we go. You didn't even want to try to make it look a little bit hard, eh? <laughs> I have to, it's my sport. Yeah. You get bicep bends, I get heavy yoke. Okay. <laughs> oh, how do you feel? Yeah. Surviving. Yeah? I mean, 700? I mean, like, I'm very I'm very honored you think that I can do that. Because <laughs> I was 500. But, I mean, I'll, I'll try it. But yeah. We'll, we'll try it. How about we do one meter instead of five? Yeah. 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 Or, or. Here, here's what we'll do. No, no, because I don't want you to get hurt. You, I'm going to keep working up. I'm going to go to a thousand. And you're just going to do pick. Okay. Deal. See if you can pick up first. Okay. Yeah? Yep. Cool. See, get the camera nice and low. If, so if, if even I can, if, if I can get this, I'm going to say I squat 770. In a way. Absolutely. Yeah, in a way. Like, pin squat. Okay. Nice and high. Get the traps tight. Okay. And just push the ground away. Yeah. Oh. Did I get it? Yeah. You did. It went up. <laughs> oh. No. No. Three, two, one, go. Woo. What did you get? 5.75. Yeah. That's about what I figured. 5.75. So that's pretty close to your best, right? Yeah, not far off. Not far off. Knee sleeves, proper shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Proper warm up. Good for today. I think I'm here. I just kind of. It was yeah. your motivation. Yeah. It was your sexy car girl act that yeah. did it for me. Yeah. So, principles of log pressing. First thing you gotta understand is the center of mass of the log doesn't sit in the middle. It sits away from the handles. Okay. Obviously there's holes here, so there's more mass down on the other side. And you want that as close to you as possible, the center of mass always. Okay. You tie that all together, and we're there. We're there. And we're there. Now how much can you do for this? At the Arnold, I did 430 for a trip. All right. Squat. Now pull it hard into your stomach and stand up. Good. Elbows higher. Yeah. Not bad. There you go. Squeeze into your stomach hard. Shoot your hips under. Good. Elbows high. Drive with your legs. Nice. 
Look at that. And to calibrate your 190 really good log weight yeah. would be 300 pounds. Would be what I'm going up to today. Okay. Yeah, so we're trying 185 right now. Just at that sticky point. Yeah. Push press is 235. Yeah. Okay. So triple extension is not your strength. Definitely not, no. Yeah. So that's probably in terms of strong and power generation. Triple extension is the 100 percent most important thing to learn. Okay. My strict press is at 170. My push press right now, sorry, 170, 350. Okay. Three yeah, about 350. My Push press will be about 460. Yeah. So let's see if we can't get legs a little bit more involved today. But I'm going to let you kick it off and we're okay. going to do I start where you stop. Oh, you're going to do that to me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Yeah, much better. I'll take that for safety. Now, you notice when you get to lock it, yeah. when you throw it up, in a perfect world, you watch that go up. Oh, and really? then you finish. Where wow. you throw it, get your head, and as soon as you get your head through, your body becomes vertical. And if your body's vertical, it's a tricep and shoulder locker. If you're here, it's like an incline press. Okay. Yeah. Not something to practice today because then you need balance yeah. and you could lose it one way or the other. Uh, but your ceiling on something like that, if you train that for four weeks, you'd be 275, no problem. I'm tempted to now. Damn. I'm, ha I'm happy with that. Last time I tried that, I failed it. I'm just standing there, I'm like. Is why I'm like, I'm far away from what my best is actually gonna be. Yeah. Because guys who are close to their peak, like, you have to work for weeks and weeks to get anywhere close to your max, where I can mostly just rock up and do what I can do. So do you ever feel like you're gonna have a limit to how much you can lift? Like you're like, what's the biggest load thing you can handle? That's really sexual. Um, That's kind of what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, over my head? Yeah. I like, I, I never see myself going above, say, 525. Okay. It should be like every world record. Huh. But. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big load on the chest. It's a huge load yeah. on the chest. Huh. Are we all done here? Are we, it's, We're done here. Yeah, okay. We're gonna have a quick rip into Atlas Stones. I got a 130 meeting. <laughs> Surface. Contact is the most important thing. Okay. So it's not really about how heavy it is, it's about creating the friction so it doesn't slip. Okay, so we're here, dig in there, your hands are just in front, grip nice and hard, then you're there. Okay. Okay, how much is that one? Uh, 250. Should I try that one? Or Don't bother with that one. Yeah, 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 yeah just this one. Yeah. <laughs> Drop, get your hands underneath, <laughs> sit it down into your lap, and squat with it, then put your hands over the top. Yeah, and now you pull it up your body. Yeah, and then onto here. 
Into the hole. That's pretty easy. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> so see how it rolls. Getting angry at it. Can't do it. it looks fine under there. All right. Well, got my ass kicked. A few brain cells are gone. Yes. Um, I'm definitely not doing this for. I mean, I guess something I might see. We do a whole session on just that. Yeah, dude, we could do this whole session on that. We could do a whole session on the fingers finger as well. We didn't get to that. Yeah. But you got to be prepared because every strongman session, you'll put on five kilos and you'll lose three centimeters on your hairline. So you got to be careful. Uh, <laughs> so how you guys did today overall? Honestly, that log press was impressive. Really? Yeah, log okay. press, that was very impressive. And for in, in the strongman world, you're far too, uh, far too long and thin. Okay. You would need... 30, 40 pounds to start filling up your frame. I can Because even like logistically, think about that log on your chest and think about like how wide you are. Yeah. If you even just had 10 more pounds of fat on your boots, yeah. that's like more space now to sit the log on. Right. Everything gets easier. Okay. So, but all in all, fucking cracking job. Appreciate cracking that. job. How was that? Yeah, it was good. Um, yeah, nice sunny car. Super nice guy. Um, really cool to see someone in the fitness industry who hasn't seen strongman at all before. Um, so yeah, um, really funny to see someone with a good strength base use really awkward implements when usually everyone I see use them has used them before now. So, um, refreshing, but awesome guy. We'll definitely do some stuff in the future. And, um, yeah, if this is the first time you're watching the channel, thank you for coming. Like, comment, subscribe, become a member, and we will uh, see you next time. Lift heavy, be kind.